Hi viewers, welcome to Cisco Support Community. I am Prabhu from the Cisco Support Community Group. In this video, we will learn about configuring a Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance, the ASA, to synchronize its clock with the Network Time Protocol server. We will be using the following network setup in this video. A LAN to LAN IPsec tunnel is created between ASA1 and ASA2. ASA1 communicates directly with the network time server. ASA2 passes the NTP traffic through an IPsec tunnel to ASA1 which in turn forwards the package to the network time server. For our demonstration, we will use a router as an NTP server. Following are the two major steps involved in configuring the ASA to synchronize its clock with an NTP server. The first step is to configure a Cisco IOS router as an NTP server. The second step is to configure the ASA as an NTP client. Let's view a demonstration of the configuration explained in this video. Configuring a Cisco IOS router as an NTP server involves the following steps. The first step is to log in into the router. The second step is to enter the configuration mode by using the command configure terminal. The third step will be to create a key ID and the key value. The fourth step is to designate the key you have just created as the trusted key. The fifth step is to specify the interface on the router that the NTP client will communicate with. The sixth and the final step will be to specify the NTP master stratum number to be assigned to the NTP client. Let us configure the Cisco IOS router as an NTP server. The first step is to log in into the router. Once we have logged in into the router, let us enter the configuration mode by using the command configure terminal. Now in the configuration mode, we will proceed to the next step of creating the key ID and the key value. The command used is NTP authentication key followed by the authentication key which is 1 here and followed by MD5 and the key value which is Cisco. The next step is to designate the key you have just created as the trusted key by using the command NTP trusted key followed by key ID. The key ID used here is 1. Once the NTP trusted key is configured, the next step is to specify the interface on the router with which the NTP client will communicate. This is done by using the command NTP source followed by the source interface name. The source interface name used in this example is Fast Ethernet 0. The final step in completing the configuration of a router as an NTP server will be to specify the NTP master stratum number to be assigned to the NTP client. This is done by using the command NTP master followed by the stratum number. Here the stratum number used is 6. This completes the configuration of a router as an NTP server. Configuring Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance as an NTP client involves the following steps. The first step is to enter the configuration mode by using the command configure terminal. The second step is to enable authentication with an NTP server by using the command NTP authenticate. The next step is to set a key to authenticate with an NTP server. This is done by using the command NTP authentication key. Once a key is set, the next step is to designate the key as a trusted key. The final step is to identify an NTP server 
to set the time on the adaptive appliance. This is done by using the command ntp server followed by the server address followed by the key and the source interface. Now let us configure the ASA as an NTP client. As explained in the procedure before, the first step is to enter the configuration mode by using the command configure terminal. Once into the configuration mode, the next step is to enable authentication with an NTP server by using the command NTP authenticate. Once NTP authentication is enabled, the next step is to set a key to authenticate with the NTP server. This is done by using the command NTP authentication key followed by the key. The MD5 specified here is the only authentication algorithm supported. The Cisco following MD5 is the key value. The next step is to designate a key as a trusted key. This is done by using the command NTP trusted key followed by the key. The key used here is 1. Once the NTP trusted key is configured, next it is to identify an NTP server to set the time on the security appliance. This is done by using the command NTP server followed by the server IP address. Here the NTP server IP address is 172.16.1.3 and the source is mentioned as inside because the NTP server is connected to the ASA through the inside interface. This completes the procedure to configure the ASA as an NTP client. Now let us verify the configuration done by using the commands show NTP status and show NTP associations detail on the ASA. The output of the command show NTP status clearly shows that the clock is synchronized. This means that the ASA is synchronizing its clock with the NTP server. Similarly, the reference is mentioned as 172.16.1.3 which is the IP address of the NTP server. The output of this command show NTP associations detail shows the IP address of the NTP server which is 172.16.1.3 as configured and also it clearly shows that the NTP sessions are authenticated. This completes the verification of the configuration. Hope this video was helpful to you. Please provide your suggestions for creating new videos by visiting Cisco support community. Thank you.